Hey guys, it's Fawns with the Wads Up channel. How are you guys doing? And welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to review the Climb Knack Pack. Now, as we rapidly approach the holiday season, I thought this might be something that you'd like to consider. Now, I think I come from a place of, uh, well, maybe you could call me a backpack hoarder, <laughs> but I got this little Aswe with flappy dangles everywhere. This little minimalist camel pack. More of these flappy dangles, it drives me crazy. Another version of Daki. This was, was my biggest pack here. That's what I would carry my drone and things of like that. So anyways, how hard can it be to design a backpack that you like or that survives? In a backpack, here's what I'm looking for. Something that's durable, a zipper that's strong and lasts. That's my pet peeve. Something that doesn't have a hip strap and clips and everywhere and it's comfortable. The fabric is durable. The straps are dependable and comfortable. And a storage system that makes sense. So I'm on the trail. I can find things quickly without having to, you know, take it off and get all irritated when I'm hot and everybody's waiting for you. you. You hate to be that guy. And maybe you just want to get a GoPro battery out. Maybe you just want to get a quick, cliff bar out maybe you just want to take a quick picture but i don't want to take the pack off every flipping time right so those packs are really irritating for that for me right so this is why one of the primary reasons why i like the climb nap pack so much for ease of accessibility for its durability for its rugged design and for its logical um, storage capacity or organizational of all of its accessories. So let me dive in. So this is the Climb Backpack, 13 liters. They're, you know, the funny thing with backpacks is they're never big enough or they're never small enough. Kind of like tank bags, in my opinion, right? Especially if you're trying to carry a drone like I do a lot of the time um, and camera gear and batteries. So inside there's lots of room there for your lunch and for maybe a spare shirt a first aid kit. And then on the top here, you have a little spot for your goggles and a little chamois or chamois as they say in the US and Canada. <laughs> but that's nice and it's got a little uh, hard case to it as well. So they're semi-protected in there and it's nice soft interior and a little strap to hold the goggles in place. This color, by the way, is referred to as an olive, uh, I kind of thought it's more of a camel olive and it's got some nice orange climb advertising everywhere on it. So you got to be okay with the big K and, <laughs> and but uh, I don't mind the styling. They have it in like five or six other colors as well. Moving down the pack, they have integrated into the back, nice little intelligent tool storage system. These two clips, release it. The tool bag sits you slide it right in there and these little clips here they go through the straps on the tool bag and that keeps it from bouncing out when you're just a ripping so that's where all your tools go and then on the on the back you know that's where they, you try and organize some little accessories maybe it's a, a phone a battery they've got uh, a little key lock here for your keys so if this comes obviously undone you don't lose your keys and go through a key panic i keep my gloves in the in the back here on the side i put a little a drink there but you know you could always put a little spot for a probe or a shovel on the the strap here this is where you can fit a radio, your telephone. Um, I keep uh, my radio for communications in there and it's just really easy to access. And then I just have the mic and it just clips on here. And then this other side here, another, another one of these little handy, little clever storage systems that's on your strap. And for me, I keep all my GoPro batteries and I keep quick snacks. Check out this too, like in the straps here, vented padded strap, both that go up against your sternum or your breastbone, but also into your shoulders, like check that out. The devil is in the details and they really they really thought this pack through. Again, again, I'm, I'm really surprised that no one ever else figured it out, like, hey, how about a place to put my phone or snacks or batteries so I don't have to take the pack off? Yeah, I know I'm ranting, but... <laughs> When I found this, I was like, okay, I can, I can make a case for buying another bag. I actually, 
I bought two of them. <laughs> so Captain GPS on the channel, <laughs> he's got one as well. Um, I convinced him to, you know, upgrade <laughs> as well. What else can I tell you about it? The YKK zippers. This is a super pet peeve of mine. One that uh, just elicits rage in me on the side of the trail when I, when I can't, with a pair of gloves, open the pack. You know what I'm talking about, right? First of all, these are glove friendly pull zippers, but the YKK might not sound like a big deal, right? But I'll show you some of this. I'll throw in a clip here of some zippers that failed on backpacks because they cheaped out on zippers. So there's not a whole lot of support or rigidity. And then when you pull it, it gets hung up. Look, you can see it binding. See how much less give that has? Might not sound like a big deal, right? Don't have a bit of a shoulder to support the zipper. When you're trying to pull it with your gloves, they get hung up or worse yet, they just bust. You know your pack's gonna get dirty when you're riding. You know it's gonna get dusty and muddy. You still wanna be able to use the zippers. Hats off to them for going the extra mile on quality zippers. If you're looking for a nice balance of a backpack between cargo capacity, accessory capacity, and smart intuitive, I guess, storage and tool storage, I think this pack really does tick a lot of those boxes. And for 99 bucks, yeah, right? So double thumbs up from Wads on the Wads Up channel. Uh, Revzilla's got it in stock, because I know stock is tough to find these days. Uh, Fort Nine's also got it in stock. I don't make a cent off this, so I'm just giving you guys some tips for the holiday season. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the, the review. Let me know uh, what you ride with, and I hope you're doing well. Happy holidays. All right, talk to you later. Chickadee chow.